In this video, we're going to be looking at the quarter four returns on the virtual portfolios that we set up a few weeks ago. And I'm also going to share with you how my own simple investment strategy is returning more than 18% on my own investments. So all is revealed in this video. I'm Helena from Bouncing Back, the financial freedom channel, helping you to achieve your financial goals. So be sure to hit that like, share, comment and subscribe. So now we're going to explore the quarter four performance. First of all, we look at the index funds portfolio. And in this portfolio, we've got index tracker funds by different providers which are tracking the same index. And if you're new to investing, or if you're trying to decide between which funds to invest in, you can drop them into a virtual portfolio and track how they perform. And that can help you with your decision making. In this virtual portfolio, we are comparing HSBC against Legal and General and how their FTSE 100, FTSE All Share and US Index compare against each other and how they have performed. As you can see within this portfolio, all of the investment funds within here are showing positive returns. And when you look at the FTSE 100 index between HSBC and Legal and General, they have both returned more than 9%. When looking at the FTSE All Share between HSBC and Legal and General, the HSBC one has returned just over 10% returns and the Legal and General has returned 9.47%. So when we look at the US index, the performance hasn't been as good as the FTSE 100 or the FTSE All Share and the Legal and General US index is showing 4.58% return and the HSBC American index 3.49%. The key thing to note here is that all of these are low cost index tracker funds, so they are really cheap ways to invest in the stock market and they're all showing positive returns despite all the stock market turmoil. And over the last quarter, the FTSE All Share and the FTSE 100 has performed particularly well. A point to note with this virtual portfolio of index funds here is that if you were building a portfolio with these index funds within them, then you wouldn't have more than one of the same index. In this virtual portfolio, we're using it to compare two different providers to help with decision making. Here we're looking at the active funds virtual portfolio that I set up on the Interactive Investor Research account. And here I selected three very popular active funds. All of these have positive returns. The Artemis Global Income has performed particularly well with just shy of 14% returns over the last quarter. The Fundsmith Equity and Lindsell Train, they haven't performed anywhere near as well. And if you compare that again to the index trackers we just looked at, then they haven't performed particularly well, but they are in the positive. And remember, you are paying quite a large ongoing charge for these funds, so that will be eating into your returns as well. If you were to hold all of these funds in your portfolio, then if you look at the totals row at the very bottom of the table, and that shows an overall return of 6.73%. Next up, we're going to take a look at shares and how the virtual portfolio of shares has performed over the last quarter. In the virtual portfolio of shares, I chose some very popular companies to put in there. So they include AstraZeneca, Coca-Cola, Microsoft, and Unilever. And when we look at the results table, you can see that the shares have not performed particularly well over the last quarter. These results show why investing in individual shares is a more risky game. But if I was invested actually in any of these companies, I think they're good solid companies, so my investment horizon would be the long term. I'd be looking at about holding these investments for about 20 years or more. So these poor investment returns over the last quarter wouldn't bother me that much because I would be looking at the long term. Now we're going to look at the virtual portfolio of low cost Vanguard funds. And to begin with, it is a three fund portfolio. So a very basic beginner portfolio with a 60-40 split between equities and bonds. So this simple portfolio is made up of the FTSE Developed World Excluding UK Index, the FTSE UK All Share and the Vanguard Global Corporate Bond Index. And here you can see positive returns for all of these funds. And the FTSE All Share has shown the best return of just over 11%, the FTSE Developed World 6.77% and the Global Corporate Bonds 1.94%. And that gives an overall investment return of 6.01%. So a 6% return over the last quarter is showing a very nice return on your investments and a lot better than anything you could get on the interest rates of ordinary cash savings. So this is a good indicator for those of you who are starting on your investment journey that you can make good investment returns with having very simple low cost portfolios. In our virtual portfolios, we then took this same portfolio mix 
and we spiced it up a bit by having greater allocation to equities. So here we've got an 80-20 split with 80% 80 invested in equities. You can see that the overall investment return in this instance, looking at the bottom row, is 7.08%. So by having that greater exposure to equities over the last quarter has given an extra 1% on investment returns compared to the 60-40 portfolio. For the more experienced investor or for those with more money to invest in the stock market, we then took this same three fund portfolio and dialed it up even more and added a couple more funds just to spice it up. So here we have a five fund virtual portfolio of Vanguard funds with an 80-20 split between equities and bonds. And we've got the same three funds to begin with, but to spice it up, we added the Vanguard Global Emerging Markets and Vanguard US Equity Index. So again, we've got positive returns across the board with the Vanguard Global Emerging Markets having given a very good return over the last quarter with plus 13.49% and the Vanguard US index has returned 6.17%. And the overall returns on this basket of funds is plus 6.94%. So again, that has given a really nice return over the last quarter of nearly 7%. Next up is the ready-made portfolios. And ready-made portfolios are often quite popular with investors because of their simplicity and ease of use. And one of the advantages of ready-made portfolios is that the rebalancing is done for you. And in the virtual portfolio we're looking at here, we're looking at the Vanguard Life Strategy Funds, of which there are five. So starting at the top of the table, we have the Vanguard Life Strategy 100, and that has performed the best over the last quarter, and that has given a return of 10.34%. Next, we have the Vanguard Life Strategy 80, which has returned 8.63%. Then the 60% equity has returned 6.84% and then the lower the equity exposure, then they are getting lower returns of 4.96 for the Life Strategy 40 and 3.20 for the Life Strategy 20. The return shown in the totals row at the bottom of this table is not relevant here because if you did choose to invest in the Vanguard Life Strategy funds, then you would only choose one of those investments. This brings us nicely onto my simple investment strategy and I invest through Vanguard and I choose to invest in the Vanguard Life Strategy 60% equity because that suits my attitude to risk and my investment horizon. In the last three months, my Vanguard Life Strategy Fund has returned me 5.69% and the overall return since opening the Life Strategy 60 in my Vanguard account is 18.63%. So I'm really pleased with those investment returns. I've had the account open for about 18 months now so to get 18.63% in 18 months is really good in my view, particularly had I've kept that money, say in a cash ISA or other cash savings, as you know, I'd have got next to no interest on that money. So I am really pleased. And it just shows that you don't need to have a complicated portfolio to get really good investment returns. Just keeping it nice and simple and low cost can work wonders as well. Of course, the return that you get on your investments is dependent on the price that you paid initially as well, and the price you pay if you do monthly investments, what price you're paying each and every month, and also the amount of time that you have been invested and whether dividends have been reinvested as well. So here we're going to look at the results that we've covered off in this video and see which ones are the top performers. So when looking at the results of the virtual portfolios and how they have performed in the last quarter of 2020, Vanguard Life Strategy Funds have got three spaces in this top five. The top spot goes to Vanguard Life Strategy 100 with 10.34% returns. So with any of those investments then I would have been really pleased, but like I say, I'm invested in the Vanguard Life Strategy 60 and have been for the last 18 months and my overall return is coming in at 18.63% since opening the account. So to summarise, these virtual portfolios have done really well in the last quarter of 2020, despite a very turbulent year and another lockdown in the last quarter. Now, this also shows the benefit of low cost index tracker funds. And remember, the lower you can keep your costs, the more returns that you get to keep. Remember, don't necessarily copy these virtual portfolios that we've walked through here. You need to make your own investment decisions based upon your attitude to risk and your own investment strategy and goals. And in using a virtual portfolio tool like an interactive investor that can really help you make your investment decisions so if you enjoyed this video please be sure to hit that like share comment and subscribe and as always thank you very much for watching